What's up? What's up? What's up? This is B Roots back at it again with another review, and this time it is on the Nano Ledger Blue. This device is by far the most premium device that you can use to store your cryptocurrency. It blows the Nano Ledger X out the window. It blows the Nano Ledger S out the window. Now, don't get me wrong. It is a premium device, which means you don't need it. But however, there are some things that I've, I've got some feedback on with the Nano Ledger X and Nano Ledger S that this device solves. It is the most expensive, but however, this is the cream of the crop. You're holding all your cryptocurrencies, your future assets, your future millions of dollars in a cryptocurrency wallet. The premium device, the most secure device, the nicest device you should hold your cryptocurrency. This is what I use. I use the Nano Ledger Blue. I do have the Nano Ledger S and I will soon be getting the Nano Ledger X. But my main holdings of all my cryptocurrencies are held in the Nano Ledger Blue. Awesome. It's more secure. You can store more cryptocurrencies. This is the device to have. And today we're going to go on, uh, we're going to do an unboxing. I'm going to teach you about the Nano Ledger Blue. Um, and then also why you need it, why you sh should get one. Why you should have a cryptocurrency wallet in general that is a hard wallet and not just storing them on cryptocurrency ex exchanges. We're going to talk a little bit about that. And also, last but not least, I'm going to explain and show how to use it. And this is great for beginners and great for people who never had a Nano Ledger Blue before. So stay tuned and let's get right to it. So before we get started, I really want to clamp down on why you absolutely need a Nano Ledger Blue or any cryptocurrency hard wallet at that. If you've been in this space for a long time, you obviously know that there have been many cryptocurrency exchanges that, that's been hacked. If you're new to the space, well, let me tell you what happens. So you follow my videos and you buy your Bitcoin or you buy your Cardano or you buy whatever coin that you want to buy and you leave them on the exchanges. What happens is that you do not officially own your cryptocurrency. The exchange is basically giving you an IOU. So you are not really the owner of that cryptocurrency. If that exchange for whatever reason gets hacked, if that exchange for whatever reason gets shut down that's based in another country, your cryptocurrency, your hard earned money that you use could be gone and seized forever. So you do not want to take the chances of leaving your cryptocurrencies on those exchanges. You don't want to do that. No matter how safe that exchange seems, it's just in your benefit to buy yourself a Nano Ledger Blue, X, S, whatever device you need to buy to get your, your money and your, your cryptocurrencies off that exchange. You need to do it as soon as possible, especially if you're not day trading. This is your warning. I'm letting you know. Welcome to the world of cryptocurrency. If you want to get into this world, you are your own bank. And when you leave it on the exchanges, you're basically giving someone your money and say, please hold it for me. The only difference is this space is not regulated yet. So you are your own bank. Get your cryptocurrencies off those exchanges. So let me give you an example. Coin check. Over $500 million worth of NIM 
wiped off and stolen. Couldn't get it back. Mount Gox, the one of the biggest exchanges there. Everyone, they were the biggest exchange of everybody thought that nothing, they were indestructible. Nothing could ever happen in Mount Gox. They were the beginning. They were going to be the future. They were everything. What happened? $460 million worth of Bitcoin. Gone. Taken out of people's accounts. Couldn't do anything about it. Bitgrill. Over $187 million of Nano. Wiped out. Someone hacked it. Took it all. Bitfinex. Still around the day. Going hard. Over $77 million worth of Bitcoin. Gone. Wiped out. And you, if you are one of those people, I feel deeply sorry for you because you trusted the exchanges. But fool me once, shame on me. You fool me twice, it's shame on you. And this is the warning. That is why you want the most secure device. You use the exchanges, you buy the exchange, you buy the cryptocurrencies from the exchanges, you take it off of the exchanges and use your nano ledger boot. Now, let's get on to the next section. Security is not the time to be cheap. You do not want to buy your ledger blue off of eBay. You don't want to buy your ledger blue off of a third party website on Amazon or just a third party website in general or someone on Craigslist. You don't want to do that. And this is the reason why. Somebody hacks into it. You put your cryptocurrency on that ledger, that ledger blue, and then all of a sudden, your cryptocurrency are back up, are gone when you, when you decide to open it back up. Why would that be? Because you bought it used. This is an official video that's sponsored by Ledger. So the link below in the description box is 100% legit. It's going to take you to this website. And it's going to allow you to buy the product. And you know you are 100% getting it from Ledger. Once again, do not be cheap. If you're not going to buy it now, take that link below and put it and make it a bookmark. If you want to tell someone else about it, make sure they don't get scammed. Send them this link below and tell them to put it into their bookmarks. That way you know when you are ready to buy the product... You are getting it from a real source. If you get it from any third party, you're risking your cryptocurrency. And that is just as bad as leaving them on the exchange. Don't be fooled. So when you get your Nano Ledger Blue in the mail, which they are very extremely fast on shipping, um, what I would recommend is just make sure there are no seals broken, anything like that, just to make sure anything hasn't been tampered with. Um, so we're going to open up the vise here. And this is probably the, the most excitement you'll get in the market today, especially being a bear market. <laughs> um, your Nano Ledger Blue comes in. And as soon as you open it, it looks like that. A beautiful touch screen. Like this thing is immaculate. You can see right here from the front. Um, just a nice little, just a nice little um, um, size of device. Um, it's almost like a little mini iPad uh, that you have. You look on the back of it, um, as you can see, you know, it's got all the, you know, it has like these little engravings. If I can get a good picture of it, you can see some type of engravings there. Um, so pretty nice. Just like an iPhone, you got your little, your little um, on and off button. And then this is where your USB goes. So pretty, very handy looking device. When you open up, you'll get... Um, some information with your your um, packets. Uh, once again, they'll give you some getting started, and I'm gonna 
explain everything of that nature. Your recovery sheets, just in case you lose your device, you're able to recover the cryptocurrencies that you have on there. We'll go over that. Where's that? Your USB device, which connects to that, which connects to your mobile device, whether it's your computer, your um, iPad, or anything that you use um, to look up uh, your cryptocurrencies. And a nice little cool carrying case um, that you would, might want to use it in store from keeping fingerprints and everything off of it. So that's pretty much your, your device. As you can see, it's completely different than the USB that you um, get. And this is the premium um, look that you're getting uh, when you use your Nano Ledger Blue. Very, very awesome and nice, durable feeling device. Um, it's premium for a reason. And as you can see, um, this, is, this is the end all be all. Like This is a great device. And that is the unboxing of the Nano Ledger Blue. Okay. So now that we have the unboxing, we are going to now download all the necessary files that we need to download in order to get our Ledger Blue up and going. If you click on the Ledger tab right there and then go to Downloads, what that will do is bring up the Ledger Live download for your computer or device that you're using. You want to use the Mac, obviously, Windows, Linux, iOS, or Android, so you can use any of those devices. Since I'm doing this off of a Mac computer for this tutorial, obviously I'm going to download the Mac for no matter what um, operating system you use. So I'm going to click here, Mac, download, and you're going to allow everything to download. And you're going to put it into your applications or your desktop folder so you're able to bring it up. Once brought up, you will get this screen saying, Welcome to Ledger Live. I'm going to click here on Get Started. And then you got four, four choices. Initialize as new device, restore device from recovery phrase, Use an initialized device. Don't have a Ledger device. Obviously, you've already bought the Ledger Blue, so we're going to initialize a new device. If you already have a Nano Ledger S or a different Ledger device, or you have a replacement of a Ledger Blue, or you know you lost it and you want to get in, you buy another one, you want to get. In, and you want to set it back up, well, you would just restore the device from the recovery phrase, and you can start all over from that device. So you're never going to lose any of cryptocurrency, everything back onto the Ledger Live. So for this tutorial, we're going to initialize as new device. You do have two choices. You either have the Ledger Nano S, which if you do have this video, you are watching the wrong tutorial. I do have a Ledger Nano S video, so you want to click on the link below, and they'll have the Nano Le the Le S video, and you can start right from the beginning. But for this tutorial, once again, we are going to do the Ledger Blue, as that is what we have today. So Ledger Blue, and continue. Now we have to connect the Ledger Blue to the computer and set up a new pin code now allow me to get my device and let's get that started okay so as you can see we are at that back at that screen with the choose your pin code so now you take your nano ledger I keep saying nano ledger blue and then you get the usb that i spoke about earlier and connect that USB to your computer and then into your Ledger Blue. Your device should power, should be charged enough so when you click on the home button, 
it will turn on. Home button once again, right there. So, as you can see right there, it pops up just as you see. It says, welcome, would you like to configure your Ledger Blue as a new device? So yes, we want to do that. Touch that. Choose a pin code to protect your device. So I'll pick an easy one. Obviously, you don't want yours to be very easy. That's the whole point of this is being good security. So just for the video, I'll pick one, two, three, four. Touchscreen is immaculate on this device. Confirm your pin code. One, two, three, four. Continue. And it says your Ledger Blue will now display a list of 24 words that you have to copy. This recovery phrase is used to back up your accounts and will be required in case your device is lost or reset. It is very important to keep your recovery phrase private in a safe place. Well, we're done with that. We're going to go back to the computer. Hit continue. And once again, same thing about the, the 24 word recovery phrase to back up your private keys. Um, what this is for newcomers is it will basically encrypt your, your, your recovery phrase, encrypt your, your, how can I say this in an easy way? It'll encrypt your secret code so nobody can get into your ledger blue. So those sheets that are in your box that I told you to save which is this right here. You're gonna need this now. So this is good just for storage. It's gonna allow you to um, write those 24 words and then you're gonna to need to store this somewhere, whether it's in a bank or whether it's in a safe at home, somewhere. So what we're gonna do is hit continue here. Hit continue on your device. And then you're gonna write all of these words down. So there's gonna be 24 words, write that down. And I will get back to you when I'm done writing all mine. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've wrote my 24 words down. Once again, you do not wanna lose this paper. This is the only way you can recover your Bitcoin, your cryptocurrency, or anything that you own in your device. If you lose it and you did not memorize these 24 words and you lose this paper, your cryptocurrency is gone. So do not lose this paper. If you want to make a copy and put it somewhere else, like I said, you can put it in a bank vault. You can put it anywhere. If anyone gets a hold of this, they can get your cryptocurrency. Now, obviously, I'm not going to put any cryptocurrency on this or I wouldn't be showing this to the whole world, but I'm just, it's for the tutorial. So, we've got our 24 words. Now, what your device, once you hit continue on your device, what it's going to want you to do is it's going to want you to repeat the words. So, my first one is outer. So, you type that in there. Second word, October. Third word, lemon. So basically what it's doing, you're basically putting in what is on the sheet that you wrote down so it knows that you're not messing up or it knows you didn't mess up. Script. So I'm just going to do the first 10 and so you can kind of get what's going on. And then I'm going to get back off. And once I'm finished, we're going to go right back into it. Outside wire. 
So I'm going to type in the rest of these and we'll get back when we're finished. You do the same. So once you're, once you put all your words in, once again, go put this somewhere safe, lock it up. You never know when you're going to use it. Hopefully you never have to use it, but you never know when you're going to need to use it. So this is very important. So, one, two, three, four, let's get back into our device. So now it says your device is ready. Let's get started to access your applications. So I'm gonna hit start. Then we're going to put this down. We're gonna go back to the computer and it's gonna say security checklist. Did you choose your pin code by yourself? Obviously, I hope you did. Yes. Did you save your recovery phrase by yourself? As I just said, go put that recovery phrase in somewhere safe. Yes. Is your ledger device genuine? Well, let me check now. You connect your device to your ledger. And what it's going to do, it's going to check to see if it is truly genuine. So what you want to do is plug it out, plug it black in, and what it'll do is recognize everything. And it's going to allow, ask you to allow the ledger on your device. And what it's going to show here is allow ledger app to manage your applications and device settings. You hit allow. Once again, if it's already plugged up and it does not allow, it's not going through the check marks, unplug the ledger device and plug it back in and that'll allow you to get you what you need to get to. And you hit continue. And then you want to create a password for your, for your, uh, Ledger Live device. So let's type a password in here, make it real easy here. There we go. Hit continue. Hit continue. This is just, you know, reports any bugs or things like that. So you continue there. And there you go. Your device is ready. Let's install some apps on your device and access the portfolio. So then we hit open Ledger Live, and then it just basically says, before receiving crypto assets, educate yourself to make informed decisions. Obviously, you're watching my channel. All my videos are going to help you become very informed and allow you to make the right decisions and how to do it safely and correctly. Crypto assets are volatile. And the prices can go up and down. Carefully evaluate your trading goals and the financial risks you are willing to take. Please beware the ledger does not provide financial tax or legal advice. You should take such decisions on your own or consult with reliable experts. Then you hit, got it. So then you come to this device and then we're going to assess it and do some things within Ledger Live. And then that will be all. So we're almost finished, guys. Hang in there. Um, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Okay. So we're at the device. And now we're trying to figure out what we want to do next. So first things first, you probably want to install some apps on your Ledger device. Now, depending on what you want to use, you can use your, you know, you can use Bitcoin, XRP, uh, Ethereum, Neo, whatever, whatever you want, you can create that app on your Ledger Blue. Now, the great thing about the Ledger Blue is you can have, you can see more apps and you don't have to remove them. If you have the Nano Ledger S or the Ledger X, you kind of know what I'm talking about. If this is your first device, you are starting off with a bang and you're not going to have any hiccups or issues or any complaints, I don't feel. Because I don't. 
and I've had complaints with the other ones. So um, what we'll do here, we will install some apps. So let's go to open the manager. We'll unlock our device. And then you'll get this screen right here. So you can install different apps, so different coins that you want to store. So let's install Bitcoin. Put Bitcoin on the device. And what it's doing is installing the Bitcoin wallet onto your Ledger Blue device right now as we're waiting. So now you'll see it on your screen showing processing. Wait, this operation may take a few minutes. So it won't take long at all. And then if you look down on your screen, there you have a Bitcoin app, as you can see. So you can close that and you have the Bitcoin app installed. Let's install XRP. Let's take XRP. It's just going to install it onto our device. And like I said, whatever you like, whether it's Tron, Stellar, Ethereum, any other, you know, any ERC-20 token um, can be done with my, my um, Ether wallet. You know, you can install all this stuff. As you can see, please unlock your device. Oops, I had it unlocked, so sorry about that. We'll reinstall it here. And that's going to pop up here. So there you go. It's processing. And then if you look down at your screen right now, there it is, XRP. So here are all the different coins and wallets that you can have, and they're always updating for more and getting more. Um, the more cryptocurrency gets popular, the more coins that come out the more coins that come out the more wallets come out the more wallets that come out the more you can store on your ledger blue safely so there you go so if i click on the bitcoin app it's going to say open your wallet connect your ledger blue and open preferred wallet to view your accounts so what we're going to do here we're going to add accounts And what this is going to do is this is going to connect your app that we just installed on your Ledger Blue, and we're going to put it into our Ledger Live. And the reason why you want to do this is because in order for you to send and receive money, it needs to be on your Ledger Blue and your Ledger Live application. And that's what we're doing now. We've already installed it onto our Ledger Blue. Now we just have to add the account onto our Ledger Live so it can connect the um, addresses together so you'll be able to send and receive Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency that you decide to add. So, for example, for this one, we'll go Bitcoin. We'll hit Continue. It'll ask you to connect and unlock your ledger device. What I like to do is unplug your ledger device. And then what you'll do is re-enter your USB into your ledger device. And it should come up there. So there you go. Check mark there. And then I'll ask you to navigate to the Bitcoin app on your device. So click the Bitcoin app. And what it's doing is connecting, and it realizes it, and it's syncing the accounts. So just allow it to synchronize. Okay. So after this step, it's going to allow us to send and receive Bitcoin. So there it is. 
add new account so you can name the account whatever you want call it million dollar BTC and buy your Bitcoin it'll be worth a million dollars one day and then you hit add account successfully added you can add more you know the XRP that we had you can add the XRP and you go through the same exact steps you hit continue it'll ask you to go into XRP so what you'll do is bring that up and it's going to ask you to please go into your XRP on your device you hit the XRP app and there you go brings that up and it's going to synchronize with the wallet and you can add it and call it million dollar XRP click on the box add account and you can keep adding however many you know however many d apps or wallets that you have that you're interested in once you're done with that hit the X button and there it is it's going to show your portfolio obviously I don't have anything in it but if I want to put Bitcoin in it I hit this button right here and I'm going to sit receive so I'm going to receive some Bitcoin once again it's going to ask you to navigate to your Bitcoin address click on Bitcoin you hit continue then it says verify the address so it has to verify they want to make sure no one's hacked into your account no one's hacked into your your device or wallet so it wants you to verify what you see on the screen right here this address must look the same as the address on your screen look down on your screen right now those addresses need to match if they don't match something is wrong do not send Bitcoin to that address I've never had it not match but you never know always confirm so I'm gonna confirm it on my device and now I can use this address to send Bitcoin to so if I'm in my Binance or KuCoin or whatever I'm using to buy the Bitcoin I will go and send the Bitcoin to this address so I can copy that address this is this is your Bitcoin address that you use to receive money or receive your Bitcoin and the same thing goes with the XRP you do the same exact process now if I had some Bitcoin into this device at the time this is where I will go I will go to send so if I wanted to trade do some trading and put the Bitcoin into Binance well what I would do is Binance has a address when you go to send or when you go to withdraw or receive they give you an address that's the address you want to put in here so I put million dollar Bitcoin the address whatever that address is that you need to send it to you put and copy paste that address in there you say if you need one Bitcoin you put one Bitcoin here that'll give you the US dollars standard fees you can do low fees which is going to take a little longer to get there high fees will take a little faster to get there or the standard fees and then you hit continue and you verify on your device and you send the money out of your wallet that's it ladies and gentlemen um, that's your ledger blue um, that's everything that you need to get started get it set up and get it going um, so there it is and let's finish up so there you go ladies and gentlemen ledger blue highly recommend like I stated earlier in this video get yourself a hardware device whether it's the ledger blue whether it's the L L nano ledger s the new ledger x that's coming out which there's going to be a video about that soon you want to get yourself a ledger 
Do not allow me to say I told you so and leave your money on the exchanges. This is your warning. Get a Ledger Blue or any hardware wallet. With that said, I say to you, this is B Roots signing out. Thank you for watching.